right, doing a 2020 Acura NSX. We're gonna be installing a new FI exhaust. We're gonna put this into there. I'm pretty sure this is the configuration that we're gonna need. This looks really nice for that guy. And then this customer went with the blue tips. This came out really nice. It's got the Valvetronic set up here, so it'll be all OE set up. And then here, I believe we have the wire. Yeah, these are going to be extensions for a Valvetronic system that should plug in somewhere over here, I believe. And here's one for this one so that he can keep it like factory and switch from uh, sport mode to track mode and give it that much louder. So it'll skip when he goes from here and it's in normal mode. It will run through here and quieten it down a lot in this little bitty tiny muffler. And then when he closes this off, it'll open up and go through here and be much louder. All right. All right, we're back. We've got inner fender liners are out. And you always want to tape up the bumper on your edges here so you don't chip anything. So we've got this all taped up, ready to go. Bumper's about ready to come off. Um, here we got some light on this side. So as you can see, the inner fender liner's out. This, we've already done the lowering springs. So those are in, good to go, HR, even with. So next we gotta pull the uh, turbo cooler, the pipe here needs to come out, and this heat shield. So we're gonna drop those out. We gotta drop the under tray to get to those. So there's some bolts back here, uh, back here, and back here. And then these are just two tabs that bolt onto this. And then this whole setup, setup will come out. And right about here is gonna be where your downpipe connects to the turbo there. So once we get those out, we'll be back in a few. And uh, we should have those uh, pipes ready to go back in. These here. So we'll be installing these in just a few. All right, we're back. We've got the bumper removed and the bumper cover is taken out. As you can see, you gotta be super careful when you're pulling all these out. There's a million little clips. You pull all these out, tape up your tail lights. All the clips here have to come off. Um, you've got a harness right here, this unplugs. And then the actual bumper itself is connected here when you pop these out. So this has to come off. A um, couple hours in right now, <clears throat> we've got the heat shields out. And you have to remove. Here's your O2 sensor, so we'll remove that, get to this heat shield, and then we get to the bolts here, sorry. O2, and then this heat shield will come off, and then you get to the downpipes right through here. Um, yeah, here's the system, get the cover off. You can see the, uh, here's your actuators here. So these will come out, and then we'll reuse these wiring. We'll connect to the new wiring for the new actuators. The old and the new. All right, we're back. Um, got the downpipes and exhaust out. And you can see up in here the turbos. We've been on this about six hours, roughly now. These were really, really tough to get out. The, on the side so you can see it better. There's quite a bit involved in getting the down pipes kind of finagled out of there. But here's those. All the heat shields and everything. And we're getting ready to install this. So hopefully this will go in a lot quicker and easier now. 
as you can tell, these cats are massive compared to those little guys. All right, be back in a few. All right, and we're back, and voila. Got her installed. These nice blue tips look great. Valtronic setup went in nice and easy. Um, we had to get new hardware for the top. The OE hardware does not replace the uh, or the down pipes to the uh, mufflers. Those are all in good. Lines up really nice and flush. O2s are in. Uh, you probably can't see it. It's a little I can get you some light here. Not, but O2 sensors are back in. We're about ready to install the bumper, or the bumper cover, I should say. But yeah, all good to go. Looks great. We'll be back in a minute. We'll fire this bad boy up. Wow, this thing sounds so good now. 